<sighs> yes. Uh, allow me to explain. After we brought you for- She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some ration. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still- I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh... Let's find out. Here, Traveler. So? How do you feel? Huh? Really? But, wait! Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just my forefathers were shown much favor by Greater Lord Ruka Devada. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I- When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real men. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on medi- Uh, that sounds nice and all, but- That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. Please, wait here for a moment. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for him. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to get. <laughs> no, I. Yesterday, a total of five dusk birds. Hapasha should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Hello? Hapasha? Hmm. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Patia! Uh, uh. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition! Huh? Wait... Huh? How'd things out here end up looking like this? Wh what happened? And where are we? Really? Oh... Something off about that cave. Uh, let's get 
think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Smash!
something to that is going on here. This place is getting weirder by the minute. Oh, hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. Good news is that she's still conscious. 
Hey, why'd you drop our food? Uh, are you? Anyways, we can talk about this later. Oh, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh... Huh? It's okay! You... I see. So, you're friends of Tyna? I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. Uh, well, actually, we were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this- Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the- Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So, you- Second traveler, you say that before we arrive, you No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself you needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hope So, Hypatia, just what kind of I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connect. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and at that very moment, I suddenly noticed in my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. And then? And then, I had a dream. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first- Yes, no doubt about that. By the way... <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food- Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll- mm. Sounds good. Are you already finished cooking? Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. 
And everyone at the Academia even laud- You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives. So why does this incense allow- The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conduced since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermin's soul? We- Naturally. Anyone who can establish a connection with Ermin- Hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon- That was primarily due to his body's unique cons- Taking in any- s Not to worry, though. Technically- Whew. I must admit, I am quite envious of your bit. Whoa! <laughs> As a member of the Ritawa Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their- Which is why I must- If only my perception was- I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Erm- Sages have said that Erman's soul contains divine knowledge, and that's why we meditate alone. Whoa, so now I- Of course I do. Sp However, I've been feeling better as of late. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of- <laughs> But what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the god- What's so strange? It doesn't sound- Well, it's strange because nearly nobody- Ah. Yes, well, to an extent. Only children- The sages say that wisdom implies rationality. Yes, if one struggles with anxiety, the fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, I studied hard, enrolled as- But then, on the day I scared the little- It was incredible! Though I don't- Back then, I was- <clears throat> So, do you- Sorry. Hmm. Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada- uh, If you two are ever in the area again, there's no need to be thanking- Now that we know Hapasia is alright- Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work, as Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly- Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I am merely a forest watcher. <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter... I see. Hmm. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort. And, and what exactly does my master... You'll know once you've... And, uh, how... Um, there's... Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all... If that's the case, then I'm a... Tainari, but... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City, but all that can wait. It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is- Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be- That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any- Well, do you at least know- mm, Let me think. My- Oh, how about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a re Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. Oh? It's called an Akasha Terminal. 
It's a tool produced by the academia that utilizes the legacy of, needless to say, this device and its use. Great! Next up, Sumer. That's right! Tainari, we have something. Yes, she's doing much better. After being. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she. Thanks, Tainari. Farewell, and good luck. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Understand that the there's no need to apologize. We're probably still gonna thank you. That means a lot. Oh, it's my recipe for pita pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy. Yay! Thank. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember. Well then, I trainee. pleasure is there than the unexpected.
entered the city, something on their heads lit up. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Ak perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved greater lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Akadi... As long as you are within Sumaru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more if... Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling... You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals. Here are your Akasha terminals. <laughs> to activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. Oh! Says this little doodad lets you access knowledge. May the mighty... <gasps> Whoa! Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is come. Exactly. That and with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, next. <gasps> Five hundred. Okay, next. Let's concentrate on. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question, oh, Paimon's brain is exhausted. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? Hmm. You too? Well... Glad it's not... Huh. Could it... Uh-oh. Paimon's get... <sighs> well, he's from Sumeru, and even has a position in the academia. Maybe he'll be able to... on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. <laughs> Let's head over and have a look. Hopefully he's at home. Hello, are you Rohawi? Yes, that's me. Great, you see, Tainari... What? I... Please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data. Oh, here! This is a. Oh, let me see. Oh! Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for. We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusum. You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this is an ex. Hmm. Sorry, the. What? You too? Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Soristhana. Huh. Didn't expect- The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain- Aw, but- <laughs> No need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali. In this world, there will always be information you cannot take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a. Uh, okay. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia. Hey, come on! This is a. Oh, I'm, so, what do we do now? Even if. Huh? Like who? Oh, you're right! Cat!
Astra Abbott. Catherine, we need your help. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is. We want to meet with Lesser Lord. You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the. Aww. Please do not worry. I'm in Sumeru. The Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of in- They take on various contracts and work all- An Eremite Brigade called the Core of Thirty is in charge of some- Core of Thirty? Supposedly. They are named as such Asphant, an advisor with the Core of Thirty. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Core of Thirty's- You're welcome. Welcome. The Adventurers Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfand. I see. So, Catherine. Ha! <laughs> it's true that the Aramites network is vast. Wait, see? Haha. <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we few. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think. Oh? Why's that? Just take the academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, in their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with greater... Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned... Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! 
But who knows? All right. Well, <laughs> no prop. <sighs> Seems Osfond was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, If the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. At least one person, and this is Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been at- Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm doing your job. Whoa, really? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend of- Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, they're panicked by what he heard. The man sought out the Dendro Archon in hopes that she would bless. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of... In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no... Okay. And, and then the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his... At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, O oh, Archon Seeker. Do you now understand? Along your journey, we were in every flower. Yeah, thanks for the <laughs> Uh, In a way. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kus... Of course. It, uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. This stinks! We <sighs> Let's see if we can- Hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? Uh, did she have bear- Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Uh, yeah, she Quick, after her! Oh, you startled me. You can relax now. We threw this. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Uh oh. Looks like there are some. Co huh? More of. No, wait. I. Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. All right, let's move out. We made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, Dia. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happen to notice. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec. I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see- <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for- And if I refuse- It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist- Hey! Dunyarzad already- Stay out of this. You don't- Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are- How much? Wait, what? 
How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, and knowing your health, carelessly running. No, you're wrong. I'm a and I know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm in. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is me? Yes, I'm sure. At least... It is fine. I won't ask you to return, but let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I Today's little excursion, since this definitely won't. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. Okay, Dia. Yay! Let's. <sighs> I'm fine, really. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a- I'm sorry for worrying you two. You sure! After you rest- Ha! Well, if it isn't dear. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. Ha! <laughs> Don't you? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it! Huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personage- Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. How about our charcoal baked Ajelena cakes? They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look! Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Bye, my will pass. Hey, come on! Paimon is. Dunyarzad, we asked the. Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Huh? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Don't be... <laughs> Who are you? Um, how do I explain this? Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of- Wow. Your dinner is odd. Is they- What? No. Huh? But aren't you a child? Then, uh, can- Oh. Then... After that, the voice said, Although my body was suffering during those days, beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore, but I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. But yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the other. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. I've been hoping. What? It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birth. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rukadabata's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed, but because of the academia's influence, people have. The academia actively participates in Sumer. Maybe they see Lesser. Aww. It is. It's absolutely sure the greater- <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't- But recently, I made a friend there. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu? The one who- Yes, that's her. Hmm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like- Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't- I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today. 
and see how things are coming along. Sure, that's quite the trip, though. No, that would be too much. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. But of course, Emilu will be thrilled to hear... Zod, it was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped. Uh-oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught. You could say that, uh, but I... <laughs> oh. Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. So you're followers from another land? That's wonderful. You two absolutely must... By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. You're very welcome. It uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've all... <laughs> wow! Not bad. <laughs> well, the stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. We reported it to the Academia many times. Oh, probably because it was- The Academia looks down on performers like us. We can't let that happen, though. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. <laughs> Milu, what are you- She'll be dancing the dance of Subzeros. Doing your Zod, have you told- I only told them about the greater lore. Okay. Then I'll tell according to legend, the Sabzerus Fest a long, long time ago. On one of Greater Lord Rukadev, some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music as she danced upon the grass. Countless beautiful potty those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. Of course they did. Although they aren't around anymore, though we're just tiny Nilu, you have a <laughs> Yeah. Thinking about the if my stage were anything like that, <sighs> all of Lesser Lord Kusanelli's. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea. Hey, come on! <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Junior Zod, let me sh everyone at the Grand Bazaar. In that case, we'll take a look. Did you know that the sa- Huh. I don't know much about- Oh, and the perfumes. Uh, I mean- Things are really sh- Don't be fooled into- And when it comes- As a child, my grand bishop Zeru. <laughs> In work as on the stage, one must act with. Nilu, you're out. <laughs> wow. Uh huh. <laughs> of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Traveler. Pa oh, hey, D I've got something. Are you serious? It might not necessarily pan. Uh, my late. Sounds like a plan. Let's head over to the Citadel of Rexar and wait. 